Hi everyone. So today I am here with you with a big opportunity, and that opportunity will come to you in another month. You have 30 days to work so hard to create this opportunity into reality. That opportunity is called as INI SET. INI SET is an exam conducted centrally for all four institutes of national national importance: AIMS, PGI, JIPMER, and NIMHANS. If you get through these exams. or through this exam you can actually get an opportunity even to do a 6 year direct neurosurgery course and a 6 year direct dm neurology course in advance it is a big opportunity and what we have seen is that through this exam because now we have the ability to join post graduation in peripheral aims also number of pg seats that you are appearing for is significant and this is one window through which you get an opportunity to join into all four central institutes along with all the newer peripheral aims that have opened we are looking at a big number of pg seats and add to this this year in particular the number of students who will be eligible for this exam will be less than the usual november aims the reason is that because of covid internship in many places got delayed and we are at a position where this is a very very big opportunity to give and i thought today i will talk to you about how to go about these last 30 days many of you have sent me a message and asked me sir i am starting late i have not done it any any preparation so far i was busy in the counselings should i take this opportunity the answer is yes why because the number of students appearing will be lower you should take this opportunity how should i go about it you have to stick to the most most common sense strategy for this exam In INI CT, if I look back at the last three years' papers, I have observed that they have a tendency to repeat previous year topics. Again, mark my words: they do not repeat the questions; they repeat the topics. Like for example, every year I have seen that in INI set they ask questions. When they ask questions on anatomy, they ask questions on cadaveric images. When they ask questions on surgery, they ask questions on very very basic parts of surgery like chest tube foley's catheter rails tube they always put a lot of lot of weightage on emergencies on road traffic accidents then then there is a topic like cystic fibrosis genetic diseases they are always represented in the ini set exam and you should also look at some very high yield topic like the latest drugs monoclonal antibodies general physiology where you have a lot of graphs in the paper or general pharmacology concepts biochemistry is important and uh, psychiatry plus pharmacology is important now if i put them all together you will notice that there is a slight higher weightage given to first second year subject your basic sciences as compared to clinical sciences this is exactly opposite to what happens in neat pg NEET PG exam is third and fourth year or clinical subjects predominant while INI CT is basic sciences predominant so if i was in your place and i had to give 30 days i would make sure that i am always putting my revision strategy so that first and second year subjects are covered fully second thing i want you to do is start practicing more grand tests every week you should be appearing for at least one gt and you should be analyzing your mistakes from the grand test this will give you a extra edge previous year questions grand test and those favorite topics of aims or ini set are covered very well in a short course on the e medicos app called as aims capsule i would keep aims capsule for my final revision the dams dvt which is already there on the app as again a tool for final revision gt is every week and i would give the mid uh, mid october dams ini ct cbt that is being conducted in the computer centers for the actual exam practice and i will use the previous year questions from the dams ppe kit where we have given all the video solutions of the previous year papers as the source of the topics that can be asked if you are doing previous year topics if you are practicing grand tests and if you are using aims capsule and dvt for your final revision you are doing the smart study required also if you are starting late or you want to make a big impact in this month i would want you if you are a dams classroom student i would want you to use the class test that we have given to you in the app 
or if you are a test and discussion student use the TND papers in the app and do them once more just go through the papers once more because every test that we conduct is a collection of all the important topics of that subject it will give you an extra edge that you will be able to see all important topics all important questions in one go again i would like to re-emphasize that this is a big opportunity do not look at this exam as a problem look at it as an opportunity it gives you an opportunity to go into central institutes one of the biggest advantage of central institutes will be that the pg will start in january itself you will save time. You will have a lot of brand value or a lot of repute attached to your career. Whenever you do your post graduation from places like Ames, throughout your life you will be saying that I am a graduate, I am a post graduate from Ames. That will give you a lot of satisfaction, a lot of ease of learning, lots of, lots of ease of identity. Any place you go, you will be easily identifiable through the place where you studied from. So it's an opportunity. Don't look at it as a problem. This particular exam, the number of students are less. Opportunity is big, number of students will be less. You should target this exam. If I was in your place, I would put my next 30 days into high yield. I'm again, again re-emphasizing, don't, don't miss out on looking at previous year questions. They are very, very high yield. In the DAMS eMedicos app on the short courses, you, when you go, you will find AIMS capsule and DVT, very high yield for rapid revision. Previous year question papers are in the PPE kit in your study section. Must do. They are not may do, they are must do. And don't forget practicing papers. Give more grand tests. Give more, uh, you know, I have seen toppers giving at least one GT a week. Even I have seen people do up to two GTs a week also to get the extra edge. So go more aggressive on the paper. Every time you will give a grand test or a CBT, you will learn what is the aggression that you need in the exam. Last year, I have seen that the person who had who, who had gotten the ranks in top 50, they were all attempting around 190 plus in the exam. In the exam, you will have different patterns. You will see visual questions. You will see questions on multiple completion types where different combinations will have to be matched. So it will take time to complete this paper. So whenever you are giving a grand test, you need to optimize the grand test for time taken for the paper. And for this purpose, I have a very unique suggestion. In the DAMS app, you will find some grand tests which are there, which are of 300 questions. In actual paper, you will have 200 questions. If you use some of the GTs that we have given to you and start doing 300 question GT, you will get an extra edge. Another thing that is a very unique suggestion that I want you to have from my side is, one day before the exam, start appearing from, for a GT. Don't look at your rank, just start doing a GT. As if, you know, suppose you were to open your uh, open the batting tomorrow in a cricket match. You will start knocking the ball today itself. Last day before the exam, start knocking the ball. Start doing a GT to get an extra edge. This exam is about common sense. It is about previous year topics. It is about your time management. If you're able to balance this, this act in 30 days, you have a very, very big opportunity coming your way. I would again, again tell you something. It is a way in which I look at my life. I look at everything that happens in my life. I look at situations as opportunity. INICT is a big opportunity coming your way. Make it, make it big. I wish you all the best.